Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. And today we're going to take a look at Jonathan Wrenchworth's The Rusty's Fan. <clears throat> now, before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, Jonathan Wrenchworth's is a 1975 Emery Craft oxidizer who appeared in a commercial, Rusty's commercial, featuring with Lightning McQueen as the spokes car. And, all the, and when Lightning said, nothing soothes all the Rusty bumper like Rusty's, his back bumper had was given a dose of Rusty's and then Lightning said, wow, look at that shine. And during his diecast releases, he was released in the late 2000s and in the 2010s. And in the Rusty's series. <clears throat> and now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his grumpy facial expression, his grill and headlights, his weathered gray grill. No tampons on the hood, just rust and his side view mirrors and his four doors and his chrome gray rims on his Blackwell tires and on the back we've got his head tail lights and the gray, weathered gray bumper and the license plate saying evil similar design but completely different and that is it now let's pull up some of the other Emery Craft vehicles. We've got Murphy, Charlie Cargo, and Nelson Blindspot, who are in Inca. T-Bone and Bill, who are the, the Limas, T-Bone and Bill from 1985, Vern the Taxi from 1990, and Donna Pitts from 1980, and Timothy Two-Stroke, who is a putt-putt. Now, Emery Craft is a fictional car make which is a Emery Craft is a fictional car trademark that is a reference to Emeryville the location of Cars' origin Pixar a division of Walt Disney and now for the other race fans we've got Fred Craig Faster Frank Clutchinson, Clutch Foster, Matthew True Blue McCrew, Kid Rebster, Christina Wheeland, JW, Manny McGear, and her mom, Melissa Burner Break, and lastly, Mia and Tia. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which Emery Craft vehicle is your favorite? And which race fan is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments as well as suggestions down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, consider the support by checking out my other videos on my channel 
and may, feel free to make suggestions of which car of the past should I review next in the comments as well. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!